Hey, this is Kiana from TTB Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to create a t-shirt mock-up for your t-shirt business. If you design t-shirts, then you know that it is almost impossible to create a shirt to photograph of each and every design that you have. The easiest solution to that is to create a t-shirt mock-up. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, and I am doing it in Silhouette Studio. And we're also going to take it a step further, and I'm going to also show you how to watermark your images as well. So for starters, I am going to grab a t-shirt mock-up and I get my t-shirt mock-ups primarily from Etsy. I'm going to pay no more than two to three dollars for them. And when you search them in Etsy, you can just type in t-shirt mock-ups and so, so many will pop up. I am going to just select um, this one right here. You will see the image is a JPEG, so it came in super duper big. So I'm just going to grab the end of the image and just pull it down and shrink it down. In the um, in my mat size or the my design space in silhouette is a twelve by twelve, so I'm just going to fit that into the box that I have. And you can leave some of the shoe right here. You see some of the shoes hanging out of the box of this red box, which means that it it won't show up. That's perfectly fine too. You can just literally just drag and pull and pull it wherever you desire. So I'm just going to leave it for here for now. So this is our t-shirt mock-up. Now this is my SVG that I created. And so I, I had already had it to the side, but so right here is my SVG that I want to create a mock-up with. I already had it um, just for tutorial purposes right here, but in your case, you will go to file, merge, and then you will grab the SVG or the design that you are going, that you are wanting to put on top of your t-shirt mock-up. I almost forgot, don't forget your design must have a transparent background. So right now I'm going to right click it and I am going to bring it to the front. So now I can just drag it on top of the shirt. I'm going to then grab this ends of the design so it can fit on the shirt and I can place it wherever I want it to go. And literally when you think about it, that's it. This is a t-shirt mock -up. we have our design and we laid it on top of a t-shirt but sometimes I want it to look a little bit more natural so here's a tip that I like to do I like to highlight on my design and then I go to panels fill color and then I like to go to the transparency and I like to move the transparency a little bit. You see how it looks a little bit more blended into the shirt. It doesn't look just like you just threw a design on top of it. It looks more natural and realistic. So I like to play with my transparency of my design to give it a more realistic look. So now we're going to take it a step further. We want people to be able to identify our brand with this shirt. So now we're going to watermark it. And watermarking is so easy. Just like how we put this SVG or your design on top of your shirt, this is the same thing to do with your logo or anything else. So this is my logo right here. I already brought it in. And I'm just going to, just like the other um, design, I'm going to bring it to the front. And I can place it anywhere I want to. I can place it right here. I can place it right there. I can place it anywhere I want to. This is what a watermark is. Simply just putting your logo onto your design. So when people see this image, they will see your shirt design. And they will also see your logo watermarked on it. And it is just that simple. Here's another look on how you can watermark your designs. TTB, right? And we're going to duplicate it a couple of times. Because there's so many different ways that you can watermark your photos. And you will see what I am talking about. So say we'll put them all in a straight line like this. 
I think I might have duplicated too many. Let's say you want a four in a row. It's good enough. We're going to group all these together. So we're going to highlight them object group. Now we're going to duplicate. 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 and duplicate. We're also going to grab them all, object group them. While they're highlighted we're then going to go to panels, fill colors, and then we're going to play with the transparency. We're going to bring it down, we'll bring it up rather. And let's see. Now let's grab this, let's copy it. And let's move this one out the way and let's paste. So you see that? You can do that if you like. You can do a full sheet of water of watermarking if you like. You don't want your watermark to be too busy to where it takes away from your actual design, but you can play with it and just and get a feel of what I'm talking about. So maybe you want to light it up a little bit more. And that's not bad right there. And that's another way for you to create your watermark. So as you see, it is super duper simple to create a mock-up for your shirt. And it's really simple to be able to create a watermark for your shirt as well. So I hope you found this video super duper helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. And until next time, bye. Thank you.